Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with notes on loading charts uh, with the uh, chart loader tab in the OpenCPN. Uh, step one, as always, go to the read the manual. They have very good detailed instructions on that. You go to the home page, opencpn.org, click manuals, choose the user manual, and then over here, charts and then down here chart loader tab and that's where you read about the process there's some access to that from within the program this is actually looking at it online but that's a starting point then let me get the program going here okay here's the program and i'm rolling the mouse i'm in a mac it works the same way with a mac or pc or a virtual machine pc in a mac they all work works works well um, then, uh, so I'm rolling the mouse here. Here's Hawaii. We've loaded the uh, high resolution bitmap described in another video already. So let's look at this in a couple steps. We're going to use that chart downloader. When I click that, uh, when I click that um, wrench, let me go back here, the wrench, right? This is your main control for these different functions. And then we go to charts, and it's showing this here because I've got, I'm looking at the high resolution bitmap that we ordered or that we loaded earlier. So that's what that is. So we go to the chart downloader. And uh, that was the bit, that was the uh, base map. So let's say add. Here are the base maps if you want to do those as done earlier. Go to here's the NOAA charts. These are the raster charts that look like a look like a printed chart. These are electronic navigation charts, which are vector charts, and these are um, extremely valuable but they take a longer longer story to explain the, the, the value and how to use them. These are international charts that happen to be available uh, I think mostly inland waters of these uh, nations and then these are some nice uh, pilot charts actually unique to OpenCPN they have converted those to uh, raster navigation charts so let me let's go back here raster navigation charts they have various ways to categorize they group them rather states we're going to go to hawaii so let's do this in a couple steps first of all here is the default location of where it's proposing to put them uh, it's going to make this let me just back up here a minute cancel uh, go to plugins. Here's your uh, chart loader plugin that comes in with I think every every installation. Maybe not XP on on the Microsoft, but on all other pro uh, all other operating systems, it's automatic. Preferences and so there is where OpenCPN is recommending your default location for your sort of root directory for charts. You can move that anywhere you want to. Um, this is as good as any. I would just remove it from the um, remove it from the backup because they're going to be pretty big, and you're going to be updating them anyway. So, and this is all, all update to charts. That's fine. Again, the, the instructions are good for those details. So here they go: charts, uh, add um, NOAA charts, RNCs by state, and now we go Hawaii. And so you see it took that root folder of charts and added an RNC folder for that group of chart, that style of chart, and then it added a one for the state of Hawaii. Okay, that's fine. You can change this at this point here if you want to, but uh, for now that's okay. So you say okay. Now, once that's done, you, this is a little bit, you see a please, almost a please, something there. Uh, open that up and it'll say please update so update now that blasted online and uh, checked for all the charts uh, that are available from NOAA now this is uh, you know we can just click this chart here Hana oh that's interesting I think that's Hana Bay misspelled anyway that's not important um, uh, but you could download that chart right there just by clicking any one of them. Well, let's actually do Hana Bay just as an example here. So let's do that one. So I'm going to do just one chart. Um, and um, that's the catalog it loaded. 
Yes. So it's loaded the catalog. Let me come back to that. And so let's just get that chart. Uh, download selected charts. OK. So apply and OK. So uh, did it show that Hana Bay chart? Not yet. So let me go um, options here. Uh, scan, apply. Okay. All right. I still don't. I actually still don't see that, but that's okay. Let's go here to the wrench. Go up to uh, display options. Go to uh, show chart outlines. So we click here and say okay. Or we'll apply. Say and okay. So ah, uh, look at that. There's Hana Bay. And. Um, so sometimes, uh, let me just see. Why is it not? Oh, okay, so there's the chart now showing up. Hana Bay. Huh. So with some of these, uh, some, okay, here's a good point about the charts if you're just doing one or two. You, you, you can see that you've got the chart, but you've got to really zoom in to some kind of reasonable scale before it'll show up. Now, um, I've got the chart. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll show, I want to show you something else, too. Um, um, let's go up here. Uh, wrench. Display. Enable chart quilting. So I'm quilting, meaning showing charts, uh, blend the charts together, but I only have one chart. So I'm going to shut off the quilting and say OK. So now when I put this chart on here, it's going to show a thumbnail of it because I'm only showing one at a time. So when I have a bunch of charts, um, I don't know which one I'm looking at. So this feature shows that, that chart there. The other nice thing is, ah, uh, look, that is spelled Hana Bay. Oh, you know what? It must be that the computer could not recognize this Hawaiian notation of the pronunciation of that A. And so that's why it didn't show up in the right spelling. But that's not important. Uh, so that's the bay. Um, uh, and that's that. So that's one chart at a time. So let's go back here to the chart and say add directory. Uh, no. Oh, this this is I'm going to come back to this. This is where you turn on and off what charts you actually look at, regardless of what all you have stored on your computer. But these are the two we're looking at now. We're looking at this one of Hana Bay and this uh, vector and this uh, base map. So go to our chart downloader. So here's the thing. Here's Hawaii. Let me update that. The, the issue here is when you want to load charts like that individually this way, you have to know the name of the chart. Unfortunately, they don't have here the chart number and the scale. There's, uh, you know, there's plenty of room for that, and it'd be nice if that were added at some point. You had the chart number and the scale; that'd be a little bit easier. But so you have to know the name of the chart. So if you want to get the chart. Uh, by name, then I would go over here. This is starpath.com slash get charts. We've made an interface to the NOAA chart sources because there's so many of them and they move them around. And they just moved them recently. But then you can uh, just take this one, for example, and go here. And then you can zoom in. Then you can zoom in like this. And you can find out what charts you want this way. Say if I want this, see that chart there. Then that's that chart right there. And now here I can learn the name of it. You see there's the name of that chart. That's what I need to know. And then what you could do, let's see if I did a sample. Yeah. Then you can make yourself a list of uh, a list of charts like this and then you'll know what to look for in that in that download list. So when you go back to the when you go back to the chart downloader, you'll know how to find the charts you want. OK, so that's that. We have that chart in there. The other option to consider, um, and again, um, this I'm just now using the chart loader for now. So if you go in here, you right click this. You say select all. Just download the charts for there's there's 40 charts in Hawaii, and um, so you could just download all of them. And that's going to just be a lot of, well, let's see how much that is. Um, 
the, the, and you just download all of them. With a fast connection, this only takes about three or four minutes, uh, five minutes maybe, to get all those charts. Um, and if you did that, then let's let's come back here. Let me just close this down. Let's say you just downloaded all of those, okay? So you say, okay. Now let me come back. I'm at the wrench, and here's the chart files. Now this is that one. This is the folder where there's that one chart we loaded, Hawaii. Now, if I add directory, now I a little bit earlier went in, be, uh, you know, playing around with this, and I just downloaded all the. I did. I did the step where we downloaded all the charts, and so that's right here. So if I go in here, and just say open, so then. Okay, then there's no, okay, that's all of Hawaii. I can take rid of this guy. Now, when you delete him out of here, that's not, that's not deleting the charts. All that's doing is saying, don't look at them for now. But right now, it's going to look at all of these. So now if I say, uh, force full day, I don't know if I can just do that. Maybe that's enough. Okay, apply, okay. Ah, must be. So now I've got all the charts, right? And uh, we have an interesting configuration here. I'm looking at, okay, go back here to the, let's see what we're looking at. Uh, display. You see, I'm not enabling that. I'm looking at one chart at a time. That's not checked, okay? So I go back here. So if I zoom in and want to look at, say, this, and this is the chart bar. This is showing what charts are in view that I could open here on this scale. And if I go here, you see, as I go down here, it's going to show me up in the top corner there what those different charts are. So I could click that one, uh, but I'm still just opening one at a time. And uh, one at a time lets me read the full scale over here. All right, so that's that. So let's go back here and turn on the quilting. Let's enable the chart quilting. Say, OK. Now, OK, so this is the probably chart 530, that's the whole Pacific. Now as I zoom in, these guys are going to uniformly... Now, you might find these things are in your way, but uh, those are the outlines. You can turn them on and off. Uh, and sometimes it's very helpful to have them, other times it's in the way. Uh, you know, it's up to up to what you like. I, I tend to like to know what the outlines are, so I keep in mind what's going on. But that's the way that works. Now, though, see, here's all the different charts. But you have to, let me zoom out a bit. Well, maybe here. Let's see how this works. Okay. So now, when I put this red, see how it works differently now. Now, when I'm on the chart bar, uh, it, it highlights which charts are there. So if I click that one, it's going to zoom into that one. If I click that one, it's going to zoom down into that one and so forth. Anyway, so that's uh, loading the charts and I'm going to actually leave it there and call this using the chart downloader and make a separate video on doing them manually.